In this video, I will show you how to add ConvertKit subscribers to Google Sheets automatically and also send the WhatsApp message to your subscribers. So here, every time a subscriber is created in ConvertKit email marketing software, the same subscriber will be added automatically to Google Sheets and even a WhatsApp message will be sent automatically to your subscriber, either welcoming them about some services or products or you can send some brochure or a thank Thank you message so if you also want to automate this process then come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is the dashboard of convertkit and every time a new subscriber is added in this software the detail of that subscriber will be added automatically to this sheet and even a whatsapp message will be also sent to the same subscriber and here for sending the whatsapp messages i will use interact application now it is an amazing application because it it has the access of official API or WhatsApp. And in order to automate this process, I'll have to first connect the ConvertKit, Google Sheets and Interact application. And I'm going to connect these three apps with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing and a very cost effective integration and automation software. I am an existing user. So here you can notice I am already logged in. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button. And in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli connect firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have directly pasted the name as add a convert kit subscribers to google sheets and also send the whatsapp message okay now simply click on create and after that you will find two boxes okay so these boxes are actually called as trigger and action okay and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happens in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer okay and now according to our use case i want that whenever any new subscriber is added in this convert kit application then automatically okay i'll have to write the correct spelling of convert kit okay so whenever any new subscriber is created in convert kit application then automatically add the very same subscriber subscriber in google sheets application okay so that is why i will be selecting google sheets as the action application further i want that the same subscriber should send a whatsapp message okay so that is why here i will search for interact and as i have already told you for sending the whatsapp messages i am going to use interact in this video okay so i have selected all the applications in this trigger and the action window okay now the idea here is i will be connecting all three application one by one with the Pabli Connect okay so let us first connect to convert kit with the Pabli Connect so firstly I will select the trigger even that is new form subscriber okay so I want that whenever any new subscriber is created via form submission this automation should trigger or we can say that the data of form subscriber should be received via Pabli Connect okay you can also select this specific trigger event if you want but I will go with this new form subscriber currently, okay? So I have selected the same simply clicking on connect, then clicking on add new connection. And for the connection, it will ask you the API key and the API secret, okay? So you can directly click on this particular hyperlink. And if you are already logged in, it will directly take you to that specific place, okay? So from the left hand sidebar, you will notice an option of advanced. And here exactly, you will notice API section okay so this is the api key simply click on this copy button and paste it here and here if you will click on this show button an api secret key will also be appear simply click on copy and paste it here and finally click on save and this is how your convert kit account will be immediately connected with the family connect now here you can notice the interesting thing because we are connected whatever the forms and the landing pages are available in 
inside my convert kit account have started visible here okay so i am going to select a which particular form okay let me show you so firstly i will visit this landing pages and form section and because in my account there is a single form only that is this inquiry form okay so let me first to show you this inquiry form assume that i am running some traveling agency for which i have created this traveling inquiry form where i am collecting the basic four details from my customers and as soon as they will submit this form of course the details of this person will be collected in this google sheets and i also want that a message should be sent on his whatsapp number here you can notice i have also mentioned the same here fill the form and get brochure on whatsapp okay so i will show you how we will be able to send the whatsapp message or how we will be able to send the brochure also okay so the form is already created and it is already saved okay so i am going to click on this publish button so that i can get the form link okay so here you can notice lot of links are visible but i just want a simple shareable link which i have copied now i am going to open this form in front of you into a new tab and now in front of you i will make a dummy submission with some dummy details okay and as soon as this form submission is made you will notice that the detail of the form submitter will be received via public connect okay so how about i add this particular email that is asking for the email okay so i am adding the name of the person as demo the last name as user and here i am also going to add a dummy phone number okay and don't worry currently i am adding a dummy number but i will definitely replace this number with my genuine whatsapp number so that i can show you how whatsapp message can be received on your whatsapp number okay so i have added all the details now i will click on this inquire now button i'm sorry for that i have for got to click on the save and send test request button in fact i have forgot to select the form also okay so don't worry we will select this form once again okay let me click on this inquire now button or how about i made this connection once again okay so i have clicked on connected and let me provide the details once again give me a second all right so i have rebuilt this connection and have selected the form and have filled that form once again and here you can notice the form is submitted okay now i will go back to my gmail account and firstly i will confirm my subscription okay so this is my gmail account and here you can notice under this updates i have received the confirmation email all right so i have clicked on confirm your subscription and here you can notice my subscription is confirmed okay going back back to my convert kit account okay so this was the form let us first go back to our convert kit dashboard and check whether the subscriber has been created in this software or not okay so here we have new subscribers and yes we do have the same subscriber and the status is confirmed now i am expecting the same subscribers in my pably connect dashboard as well and here you can notice the response is received and in this response i have all the details okay so here i have the name of the person i have the email address and i even have the phone number okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between pably connect and convert kit is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone will fill this specific form the subscriber details will be captured via pably connect and once we have those subscriber details we can send this data to different application okay so the first step of our automation is done and let me tell you one more thing the trigger he here is actually instant okay this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so that means the subscriber details will be captured via public connect instantly okay now once the subscriber are here the details are here we can easily add those details into our next application and in our case we have the next application as google sheets now the application is already selected simply select the action event that is add new row so the automation will add a new row first and in that new row the automation will add the details of the subscriber okay and just like we have connected first convert kit and 
and Pabli Connect. Now I will be connecting this Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. Okay, so you will have to click on this Add a New Connection and click on this Sign in with Google if you are providing the access for the first time. Okay, I have provided the access of my spreadsheet multiple times. Okay, so I can also go with the existing connection. All right, so this is how the authorization will be successful, and my Google Sheets account will be also connected with the Pabli Connect. Okay, so here you can notice Google Sheets is connected with the Pabli Connect, and because we are connected, whatever the spreadsheets are available inside my Google Spreadsheet account have started visible here, and I would like to add my subscriber details in this form submission data. Okay, so I am going to select the same spreadsheet that is form submission. Mission data and in this select sheet also I will select this sheet one only because I have a single sheet okay and as soon as I will select these two details here you will notice that whatever the columns I have added inside my spreadsheet the same columns are visible here as the fields okay you can notice the first name the last name the email and the phone and yes we do have all the details first name last name email and phone okay so let us come back to Pabli Connect and provide the details and from where i'm going to provide the details remember we have just captured the data from our previous step response and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy this data and paste it here okay i am going to map the above data okay and mapping is very simple simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down let me map the first name asking for the last name well i'm really not sure why the last name has not been captured i think Thing I have forgot to provide my last name while filling out the form. Okay, don't worry about that. So I will keep the last name field as blank, asking for the email address. So again, I am going to map the email address in the same way. Now you must be thinking that what is this mapping? Okay, so whatever the details I am mapping here from this drop down, these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time in next time. Yes, with every new subscriber creation, this. existing data will be replaced automatically with that new data and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place okay so here you can notice the response is received which means the subscriber data has been added to google sheets and here you can notice yes the same subscriber details are here okay let me show you let me first correct the formatting okay so we have the same first name and as i have told you i think i have forgot to provide the last name so we do not have any last name okay and we have the same email address and phone number okay currently i have collected only the basic details like first name email and phone number now it is completely your choice that how many details you want to collect from your form and what data you would like to add to your spreadsheet okay now the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our spreadsheet and public connect is also working absolutely fine okay so moving further now i am going to send a whatsapp message to this particular person okay and as i have told you initially for sending the whatsapp messages i will use interact application now firstly you will have to select the send whatsapp message template as an action event and just like we have connected above two application with public connect now you will have to connect interact with the public connect for which you will have to provide the secret key okay so simply click on this hyperlink and if you are already logged in into your interact account it will directly take you to that specific place from where you can actually get the secret key okay so simply clicking on this copy button and pasting it here and directly clicking on the save button and this is how you will notice that your interact account will be also connected with the pabli connect all right and here you can notice it is asking us several details like the country code the phone number full phone number the template code and lot of other details okay so i will show you everything i will explain you everything in detail one by one okay so did you notice that it is asking the phone number at two different places okay so before i explain you this let me first to show you this note that it is mandatory to give a value for either full phone number or for both country uh, country code and the phone number okay so the interesting thing here is it 
completely depends on what kind of phone number you have so if you have a phone number along with the country code that phone number will be referred as the full phone number which you can directly map here okay but if you only have the number you do not have the country code so in that case you can provide the phone number separately here and further you can provide the country code here separately okay so let us check what type of phone number we have right now okay so as far as i remember we have the full phone number let us check from this drop down okay so where is the phone number how about i add the details from this convert kit drop down okay so we do have the phone number along with the country code so i have mapped the number in the full phone number field and let me tell you currently i have mapped this dummy number but don't worry when i will click on this final button i will replace this number with my genuine whatsapp number and then i will show you that how the message will be received on my own whatsapp number. number okay now it is asking for the template code name so before we provide any code name firstly i will explain you what is this template okay so whenever you are using some official whatsapp api for sending the whatsapp messages you will always have to create a whatsapp message template first and once that template is ready you will have to submit it for the approval and the whatsapp parents company meta is going to review that template okay after submitting the template for the approval now the parent company of whatsapp that is meta is going to review that template okay so if that template is approved then only with that template only you will be able to initiate the conversation with your customers with your clients okay so let me show you this is the template library in which lot of predefined message templates are visible okay but now i will take you to the active section where you will notice that i have created me and my team have created lot of message templates and with the color you can differentiate the status of the template okay so you can notice we have approved pending and rejected status okay so the templates marked with green color are actually that approved one the templates marked with red color are actually the approved one i'm sorry are actually the rejected one and the templates marked with the yellow color are actually the pending one okay and now i will show you which particular template i have created for sending the whatsapp message to my my subscribers okay i have already created that template and get the approval okay so i will search it with the help of brochure because i remember i have kept the name something like this okay so this is my message template that is general brochure template okay but before i show you my template which uh, which is already approved let me first to show you how you can create your own template okay so you just need to click on this create new button and after that you will have to provide a random name to your template and then you'll have to select the category okay so currently we are sending the messages to our subscribers so we will have to select a marketing category for such type of templates and in the template section you'll have to also select the language okay so how about i select the language and as soon as i have provided these three details here you can notice the option of header and the body is visible okay so header if you want to attach any text image video or a document along with your message you can select any and again it is optional it is up to you okay and from this body text only from this body box only you can create your own message okay so this is how you can write your message and whatever the details you will type here you can preview the same message from the right hand side and let me tell you whatever the template you will create here the single template will be sent to all your customers or the subscribers okay so how it is going to execute so basically we will add variable in our template okay so basically whatever the values you want to keep on changing automatically you can keep those values in the form of variable okay and this is how this automation is going to take place and you can add as many as variables as you want okay so this was all about the template create and in case you want to add any footer or button you can also add the same but again these are optional okay and after that you can submit your template for the approval okay currently i am going to close this particular template because here i will show you my own template which i have created so the name of the template is
is general brochure template the category i have selected is utility the language i have selected is english i have also included a header as document because i would like to share a brochure of my traveling agency with the customers with the subscribers okay so that is why i have included a document as an header in my whatsapp message okay and here you can review my message okay so i want that hello and the name of the subscriber should appear here thank you for your inquiry one of our team will contact you shortly meanwhile you can check our dash brochure okay so if you're sending a school brochure you can add the same if you're sending a traveling brochure you can replace this value which we have attached with this message where we can where you can see all the details i'm sorry i think i have missed the c okay but make sure whenever you create your message you will have to type everything very carefully because you will have to submit it for the approval okay for more details you can visit our website and here i'm going to attach the website link thank you and here we will add our company name and again i have not included any footer and button and here you can notice my template is already approved and let me tell you a very important thing once you will create your own template before you submit it for the approval you will have to provide the sample to the variables well sample just samples are nothing but just the values to the variables which we are telling our automation our system that such kind of values may appear in place of these variable this is just a sample content our dummy content clicking on done okay let me close it directly and from the url of your template you can copy the code of the template coming back to pably connect and now finally i am going to define in my automation that every message should be sent using this particular whatsapp message template so that is why i have provided the code now it is asking for the language code so remember we have added english as the language so the code for english is en just in case someone is selecting english us so the code will be en and us and you can also visit these documentations for more help okay so i have provided the language code now finally it is asking for the header value well this is something which i want to share with every single subscriber so that is why i will directly paste the link of my brochure link of the pdf okay so let me show you the same link the traveling brochure link okay i am opening it in a new tab and this is the brochure i have created for my traveling agency which i would like to share with all my subscribers who are submitting this form okay let me close it and let me first paste the link of that brochure that pdf file okay so what will happen every time the subscriber is added here that subscriber will also receive this header value now why he is going to receive the same header because there is a difference in providing the values via mapping and in providing the values manually okay so whatever the details you are providing here manually these details will remain same okay but whatever the details you are added here with the help of mapping these details will automatically be replaced when this automation will work in real time now coming to the most interesting part that is body variable values so from here exactly we are going to provide the values to our variable okay so let us check how many variables we have inside our message template okay so i have in total four variables and i will provide the value to these four variables by simply separating those values by a comma okay so let us provide the value to the first variable so i want that the name of the subscriber should appear here automatically okay so let us map the name of the person which was demo i'm sorry for that okay so i have mapped it successfully and after providing the value to the first variable simply add a comma give a space and provide the value to the second variable which is this okay so i want to rename my brochure as traveling brochure okay so here i will specify this thing manually okay because every with every subscriber i'm going to share a traveling brochure only okay so, so that is why i can specify this value manually okay further i will provide the detail to the third variable so here i want that my website link should appear okay so let me copy the same coming back and pasting it here manually once again and lastly it is asking for the fourth variable that is so here i want that the company name should appear here well of course the company name is also going to be the same for every subscribers okay so i am 
adding TNT Tour and Traveling Agency, and this is just a dummy name. Okay, TNT Tour and Travel Agency. Okay, I have added the name also TNT Tour and Traveling Agency. Okay, now it is asking for the dynamic URL and CTA button. So remember, I have not included any URL and the button along along with my message template. Okay, so I think I have provided all the important details. Now let me finally replace this number with my genuine whatsapp number and then finally i'll click on that final button so i have provided my number clicking on this button save and send test request and further waiting for the response to be received and if that response is positive which means the message has been sent so here you can notice the response is already received let us go back to our whatsapp web and first i am going to refresh it and will check whether the new message is arrived or not on my whatsapp number and here you can notice one message is there and it is the same message that is the brochure is already attached automatically attached hello we have the name of the person thank you for your inquiry one of our team member will contact you shanli meanwhile you can check our traveling brochure which we have attached with this message where you can see all the details for more details you can also visit our website so you can notice i have also added a random website link uh, of route and traveling agency and lastly i'm sorry for that i should open the whatsapp web. and lastly here we have the name of the company also okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in whatsapp and public connect basically in interact and public connect is also working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time a subscriber is created in convert kit the same subscriber details will be added automatically to google sheets and once the data is added in google sheets now a whatsapp message will be sent automatically to the very same person okay so this is how you can entirely automate this process in public connect using public connect okay and uh, once you will set this automation inside public connect after that you do not have to do anything manually simply set this automation inside public connect and sit back and relax because public connect will take care of all the task in the back end and just in case if you want to access this three step automation inside your own public connect account i will also attach the link of my automation into the description box okay so you just need to click on that link and then sign up for free into the public connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow the same three-step automation inside your own public connect account that to follow free okay and here i would like to tell you a very important thing you can notice before the name of the customer and before this particular variable and even before this particular variable we have extra spaces okay so i think we do not have to manually provide the spaces what WhatsApp basically interact will automatically fill those spaces okay so let me show you where we have added the spaces basically while providing the values to the variable I have provided extra spaces okay so if you will remove these extra spaces what will happen you will not be able to see any extra gaps in your message okay so this was just a single tip from my side not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video